If we shrunk the world to a village of 100 people, it would look like this. Five people contract malaria. 15 live in slums. 15 are illiterate. 15 do not have safe drinking water. And 30 suffer from malnutrition. Let's hope the rest are volunteers. Almost 150 years ago, one man came across a ferocious battle and saw thousands of people dying and suffering. He tried to help, but he realized that one person alone couldn't do it, so he mobilized people from the community around him. And that's what's happening today. Red Cross, Red Crescent is about mobilizing volunteers for the good of the community, to serve in times of disaster, to serve in times of conflict, day-to-day -day road accidents, first aid, HIV AIDS awareness, and many and many of those programs, particularly more and more looking after the elderly. The current flood disaster. Nowhere. We, none of us from Colombo outside could really travel there. But we had relief stocks in our warehouses where the volunteers actually came in and then delivered them. So basically it has been so vital that we have volunteers from the community and that we can assist them. The Sri Lanka Red Cross Society and its uh, volunteers were mobilized to assist people in evacuation of people, provision of cooked food, provision of uh, non-food relief items to these affected people. We have trained volunteers in conducting the assessments and also the relief distributions, which we mobilized in terms of disaster. For the past 13 years, I have been a volunteer of SLRCS. At the same time, that SLRCs have been supporting me to develop my capacities, skills to support the emergency operations in any, any time, in any disaster times. In the current the flood operation in the east part of the country, that I was asked to deploy in Batiklo district to support the, the ongoing operation. After being to Batiklo district, that I found that there were so many volunteers that who was willing to support their community. What we're finding, particularly in the more developed countries, is that we have to give volunteers a specific task to do. For example, you can't ask someone to be a volunteer 30 hours a week. Maybe the only time they have available is two hours on a Saturday. So we've got to mobilise the, the power of humanity, the time of volunteers, in a very strategic manner. Yeah. 